Hey, Jaina here from CourseBistro.com. I just wanted to share with you in this video how to pre-plan your value ladder offers. So let's take a look. Before you set up any type of course or membership site or even a challenge, we want to, you to think about kind of a tiered approach of where you will take an ideal student or client on a journey. And so we want to kind of think about the middle of your value ladder. So imagine if you just if you just started with a three step value ladder, start in the middle where you anticipate you want to have your core offer. The majority of the people that you draw into your ecosystem to reside after they've consumed a freebie or a, a lead magnet. What's the main thing that you have to offer? The thing that the most people will get benefit from in a paid offering. And that's where I'd like you to start. This is what you do best to serve your audience. You're choosing something at an affordable or moderate price point for your audience and something sustainable that really helps your business to scale. Then I want you to plan upward to your high end offer. Maybe it's high touch services, one on one um, or group format. Maybe it involves more uh, access to you, more of your attention and time. And then it involves your highest level of expertise that you have to offer. That would be your premium service here. And then go backwards and say, what would draw someone in to my core offer that would naturally lead them to my high end offer? A lot of times we get trapped starting here at the beginning and we just we run in circles chasing our tail going, what would be the free thing that people would love to have? So this, keep in mind, this free thing that relates to your core offer is to the whole idea behind it is to build up your email list because that's the best way that you're going to have access to your potential um, ideal students. It showcases your expertise. It really helps um, potential prospective students and clients to get a taste of who you are and how you could possibly help them specifically. Um, it, it builds no like and trust with them because people have to trust you online before they will purchase. And it helps um, them to rapidly implement some of your ideas so that they get some quick wins and actually feel like, oh my gosh, this will really help me. So from there, I want to just take you through some building blocks of your core offer. Remember, we're starting in the middle with your core offer. Um, this could be a business intensive, a, start a starter kit, an introductory course. It could be a live or a virtual boot camp, maybe a course bundled with some coaching. Um, a group coaching offer that you might have. It could be an in-depth course. Your core offer could be a, a, your main course with um, the bulk of the content that you have and that of your expertise that showcases all your expertise. Could be a live workshop or a membership um, into a system or a method that helps your, your ideal students reach the transformation promise that you have for them. And then moving upward to your high touch, more personalized involvement offers, it could be like that one on one coaching program, consulting, you could have it be the, the high end bundle that goes along with your course, um, done for you service packages. If you're a service provider, it could be the thing that you um, customize uniquely to that client. It could be a mastermind group where you pull in lots of experts and, and who share on a peer level their expertise multi-day live events, cohort-based course, multi-week boot camp in a Facebook group, or custom one-on-one -on -one services. And then from there, um, we can go backwards and go, okay, what would be the free offer that would draw them into my ecosystem? These would be potential lead magnets. So I'm not gonna read all of these, but just like a roadmap, a mini course, um, something that you could customize, a swipe file or an ebook or booklet. Um, a step-by-step -step blueprint or guide or a checklist. These are all going to be great lead magnets, but if you think about it going from your core offer to your high-end offer and then back to your front-end lead magnet, that would be the best way to help strategize your value ladder. And then pulling it all together, start thinking about if this is my opt-in free freebie, and this is kind of a four-step ladder that would start right here. So your opt-in freebie is going to be that free thing that you decided upon. That's going to get them into your email sequence. So these represent an email series, a welcome series um, that's going to teach them a little bit about what you do, who you are, maybe give some social proof that what you have to offer has helped other people. And then maybe hinting at a paid product. And then at the end of the series, maybe saying, and here it is. And this is when it's starting if it's a, a time specific date launch. A tripwire would be something maybe less than $50 that you'd offer. Again, this is just to help them become from a prospect to a customer. 
um, because research has shown that if people pay for something from you, they are more likely to pay again for something higher level that you have to offer. And then moving them up to that core offer, your, your main course or membership site or the core thing that you have to offer them, and then those high-end done-for-you services. And then thinking backwards to, I need to publish. And what this means is how are you going to draw people into your freebie? Um, are you going to publish things on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Medium, on on make a YouTube channel or TV show, um, put things into a podcast, things like that. That's what I mean by publish. What's your traffic source where you're going to constantly be moving them into your freebie? And then if you would like more online course creation resources, please go to bit.ly forward slash course bistro sub hub. Let me show you here. So this is just a sample. When you go to set up your member vault, this is just a sample of the types of products that you can have starting from your freebies in your subscriber hub or whatever you call it. And then gradually moving upwards, I have a course audit to our business intensive done for you setup services for coaches and service providers and then funnel coaching. So these are just a sampling of some of the things that I offer, but think, think of them in the, through the lens of a step by step tiered process, moving them up a value ladder. 